for you guys. We go again. Let's do it. Our stories used to be so simple. We had a beginning, a middle, and an end. But ever since we moved to this awful city, everything's gotten so confused. Look, I didn't kill anyone. And I'm supposed to just believe you. Snow. That shit threw me for a loop, bro. I ain't even lie. I just want you to be careful. I almost lost you once, and... I'm not yours to lose. I'm not going Snow, to get like that, we'll let you ass die. Anymore. She looks like Holly. It's not Holly. It's Sorry. her sister, Lily. There you go, Tucker. So out of all the she scenes that we had... To pay down debt. Out of all the series... Eventually, the only people she owed were at her work. You know, that shithole club, the pudding and pie. Yo, it's so easy to say, dude! Ah! Well, Marissa... I've got some questions. The open arms. Oh my god. I don't think we should let her see that shit. What is it? <gasps> it's Crane. That's hella weird, bro. This whole thing like kind of weird is that the aspect uh that fucking creep spineless little fucking rat crane Ugh. god you think you'd know a person bigby you have to tell her i know what's going on what did you find up there you know other than the not now i that have thing's a right broken. to know if my wife is honey Shit! Crane's been... Oh, Bigby, calm down. Everything's going to be fine, okay? It's going to be fine. I have to tell Snow what's going on right now. Okay, it's it's going to be okay. Where did you see her last? Did she say where she was going? She took Holly to the business office to prepare for the funeral. Lily's funeral? Yeah. How do you know? I was just at the trip trap, and I heard Gren telling some folks about a funeral at the Buckingham the Bridge. trip trap? Are you drinking? When? Right now. They were on their way out. Big B! Let me get my thought process out, bro. This is fucking me up. All right, so here's the thing, right? I see y'all typing, dude. I gotta, let me read, let me read what y'all said, because y'all fucking me up. George, George, Georgie Porgy is vying for power, and, and so is Bluebeard. Crane is technically two. I think the issue is, is that, like, just to hit it on the nail, and this is what fucks me up about this series, is that... When you involve magic, anything is possible. One person who may be seemed to be a person may not be that actual person. Which is why I'm kind of sus. Why well, was sus? I, we, we got proof to kind of make sure that Snow's cool now, right? But like, I don't fucking know, man, bro. It could be anybody, dog. It doesn't necessarily it, like that doesn't necessarily mean it has to be Crane. But like, I ain't gonna lie. Based off of the information we had before, like Crane and his behavior when he was driving us from the um uh, from the police place, yo, that motherfucker acting kind of weird. He was like, yeah, I love her, you know, we miss her kind of deal, right? Right, he said I miss her too, you know, and it's only been a day. So like, the way he's acting is kind of like, yo, you kind of, you know, question mark, right? Um, but then like, <laughs> but then like, in Fable Stories is, wait, it, he killed a series of females. Who is Bluebeard, bro? I'm about to Google this shit. Somebody tell me, what series is uh, uh, Bluebeard from? That's what I want to know, let's start there. Bro, it's Bluebeard, he fits the profile. He's acting out of love. I don't know how love kills people, dog. That, that don't make no fucking sense, but all right. Who the fuck is Georgie? Bluebeard? No, no, that can't be him. That's Captain Hook is the bad guy for Peter Pan, no? Y'all fucking me up. Crane's acting out of love. Hook is Pan. Y'all fucking me up, bro. All right, hold on. Time out, time out, time out. Bluebeard. Who the fuck is Bluebeard? Let's start there. <laughs> Y'all fucking me up, dog. I can't think now. He has an earring. Is he a pirate? Blue waffle, that's nasty, Con. Shame on you. Is 
the fable pirate who goes on a killing spree. Oh, we have to wait for the time where this shit fucking me up. Dog, I'm so fucked up, bro. Oh my god. Okay, I love this shit. Okay, all right. Let me think. Let me think this through. That makes sense. If you connect it that way, it does make sense. But man, things aren't always as they seem, bro. Especially with the last episode being smoke and mirrors. I mean, the whole promise about uh, the premise behind smoke and mirrors is basically like there's a lie behind it. That one, dude. Fuck. <laughs> All right, let me focus. Wait. What? Snow's. Snow's been through a lot. There are things she doesn't talk about. Just please be careful when you tell her. And you should tell her. But... I know. No, you don't know. You know how you felt when you saw that picture? Well, it's going to be much worse for her. Just remember that. Good advice. That sound. All right, beauty. I see you. I hate it when Sword knows what's gonna happen in the game, bro. Then we'll forget X all fucking posh about it. <laughs> I'm not gonna say nothing because I know what's gonna happen in the story. <laughs> and I'm like, man, fuck off. I'm, uh, I'm sorry, I'm just being bitter. I, just, I wanna know! Lily had many friends, but a few fables she was truly close to. If you were here, then you were part of a very special circle. People she trusted and cared for. I won't, um, offend you by claiming one day that, that the pain of losing Lily will ever subside. I know as well as you that it, it will never subside. But I also know that... Dude, it's the Disney the logo in the background, bro. This guy's still a little, you know what I mean? Well. Oh, shit. And it will, in time, equal in strength to our mourning her loss. And it is in that spirit that I'd like to talk about Billy Goat. What you've uh, all been was so it grateful whiskey? to share with me. Your memories of her. Know, How she could be stubborn and patient, rash and thoughtful. How she carried a torch for the old I'll miss place, worrying about for tradition, you. For, I'll miss our um, fights. Pageantry. I'll miss you. And most of all, Holly. it seems how Sag. Lily loved, dearly loved her friends and Now her. you will never die she from indifference around or lead a tedious good life. And bad. Goodbye, sweetheart. I never met Lily. Thanks for everything. What I've been told. Vivian. I know in my heart that she would have liked to be here tonight. And now we'll have our... You are our a big, bright, shining star silence. in this shithole of a town. And I miss you already. Grin looks Grin. like he genuinely cares about the trolls, man. Like, bullshit aside. Bigby, is everything okay? No, not you. Holly, it's... He wasn't fucking invited. Holly, wait. He has no right to be here. Not after what he did. Look, Holly, I'm not here to start trouble. You throw my sister down the witching well, and you have the nerve to show your face here? After you lie and say you'll check first? Holly, wait, that was Crane, just Crane. He disposed of Lily's body before Big B could do anything about it. I'm telling you the truth. Don't cover for him. But this genuinely wasn't his fault. You can't tell me Bigby gives a shit about this. I'm sorry, Holly. I, I didn't know he put her down the witching well. Bigby cares, Holly. He's trying to help. And I'm sure he has a very good reason for being here. But this one isn't on him. Why are you here anyway? And don't say it's because you care about this. Everything okay? I'm here to talk to Snow. Oh, really? Yes, Holly, this is serious. Okay, okay, look. Bigby and I are going to have a little chat far away from the ceremony, let's all go, right? Let's go, let's go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look, Holly, I know how this must- No, you don't know how this must feel. You have no idea. 
don't fuck anything up. Don't bother anybody. And when the first sign of trouble comes, and it will come because you're a goddamn walking trap for it, I want you the fuck out of here. Of course. You won't even know I'm here. Let's just continue, okay? This is such total fucking bullshit. Let's go, Holly. It's Ariel. It's your turn to talk. Who is this one, though? Cinderella? No, she ain't got the slippers on, dude. Oh, no. This better be wildly important. It's been hard enough making a connection with these people. When you pull this kind of stuff, it just resets the clock. Lily was Crane's prostitute. I followed a lead to this shithole motel, the Open Arms. Crane had a room there, and he's been taking prostitutes, or at the very least, Lily, and making her look like you while he was, you know. This is... I don't even know what to say right now. I really don't. I'm just trying everything I can right now to not picture it. To not picture him. I thought... I thought you should be the first to know. You're sure this is what happened? This is what he's been doing? Because please, Bigby, don't confuse things. Deposing Crane would be the next step. Fuck, man. This is like a stepping off point, bro. Fuck. Okay, because, like, you, you guys fucked me up mentally, bro. Like, all the things do lead to him, but that doesn't necessarily mean he is the bad guy, bro. And also, you know, we don't kink shame around here, you know what I mean? You like that weird shit? You like that weird shit? As long as you're not doing something bad, right? Disclaimer. Soul Saint does not condone violence or any acts that are bad against, you know, people in the human race, you know? Soul Saint loves people. Um, but with that being said, um, bruh, I don't know, man. I think if we show the thing, if we show the picture, it's gonna just put a target on that motherfucker hard, man. And if we get this wrong, it would mean more than our jobs. You took a cab here, right? Yeah. I'll drive. Snow? Narissa? What is it? I'm sorry, but Holly's asking for you. Are they starting the burn? Yes. Everyone who spoke should really be present for this part. She's kind of distraught. You're not leaving yet, are you? Two minutes. I don't mean to be, um... No, I get it. Take your time. It won't take long. How'd it go? At the motel? Did you find anything? I, uh, I did. It helped a lot. Thanks. Nerissa! Yeah, uh, coming! Man, I hope that was the right choice, bro. I hope that was the right choice. So the reason why I'm not rushing for time here is because technically uh, everything kind of points to like Snow being the one that's going to be like, yo, you got to watch out for her. But if she's within purview, she's within our, our, our POV, then we don't need to rush it per se. I'll, I'll, mm. But what if Crane is on his way out, bro? And why did Crane get rid of the body? That also makes no sense to me, dude. Either my boy get in person or he real sus. Wait, wait, wait. Easy now, girl. Man, these you fucking You know how idiots, this dude. goes. The first thing in a visit, Hello, big bay. You say, how do you do? How do you do? Now is really not the time for whatever you jerk-offs are planning to do. Well, isn't that the thing of it? Plans. Except it isn't our plans you should be concerning yourself with. We'll snip to the chase for all sakes. A little bird told us that you're fitting to go after Crane. You're fitting and to go you after see, Crane. We have an interest in that particular boy. So you particular leave Crane boy. alone, and we leave you alone. Just take a little vacation is all. Don't even have to go anywhere. Are you working for Crane? Did he send you? No, see now, you're already asking too many questions. Just pay attention. So what's it gonna be? We have a deal? 
You leave Crane alone, and we leave you to yours. Don't hurt anyone, D. That don't sound like a yes to me. Always wanting to do things the fun way. Ladies, gentlemen, invertebrates, please, rest easy. This is not... What the hell is going on? What's happening? Very sorry to impose, but we only had a deal to work out with Bigby. And we're unhappy to report that things did not go as smoothly as planned. Bigby, what is he talking about? Never you mind that, it ain't any of your- What deal? They want me to leave Crane alone. Crane? Oh, now you shouldn't- I think I made the wrong choice. I did that too quickly. I did that too quickly. That motherfucker got a gun. Can we survive a gunshot, bro? I don't know. We're just a wolf, bro. Couldn't have done that, old boy. Really. That wasn't right, telling everyone our dealings. Fuck y'all. Ah! Oh, shit. What did I tell you? What did I say? Ali? You think you motherfuckers could come here uninvited? You think you could just fucking interrupt Lily's funeral? Calm down, darling. It was just a simple business transaction. You fucking freaks are not getting away with this. Ali, let me handle this. Yeah, let's spare all the fuss. It's just a Oh, dead you hole. dumbass! I'm gonna kill you! I got a choice. I got a gun, and I got a I got the thing going here. If I can control the gun, maybe that's the way it works. Like I don't know how self defense works on this aspect, dude. Most of the times, your instinct says grab the gun, but then you could get shot too. But if we go for the dude, maybe we can knock the gun out of him, and then we just beat his ass. You know what I'm saying? Fuck, why did I start this episode, bro? I'm not in the right mindset, dude. There's too much shit going on. <laughs> I'm going for the gun. It was at this moment that he- I didn't fuck up! I didn't fuck up! Shut up! Shut up! This dude has second gun, man. What the fuck, bro? Please get out. Help! Telltale Games presents They're not there, right? <laughs> They're not there, right? <laughs> the Wolf Among Us Episode 3, A Crooked Mile. Man, they're fucking dead, aren't they, bro? Man, that's two more in the box there. Is that four? Four in total that we have to take accountability for? No. Because the third one, Lily dying, that was 100%. Nothing we could do about that one, just so you're tracking. I googled it. Four? God damn it, man. I did as well as I could to take out the buckshot, but there's still some shards left embedded in your shoulder. They'll eventually warm their way out on their own, but until they do, you're gonna be sore. Bigby, Dr. Swinehart was appointed Fabletown physician for a reason. It's okay. There's only one thing you have to take away from all this. Take it easy. <sighs> Don't go looking for any more fights. Keep strain off your heart. How's everyone else? They all make it? They're fine. 
I yes! had the one that got wounded sent home. Holly refused to let me see where she lived, so I left her and let's fucking go. And Grendel back at her bar with a dose of juniper and spring water. The Titans, Bigby. They'll be fine. Just remember what I said. The stitches won't hold up if you continue to act like you normally do. Everything in moderation. And uh, eat more chicken. Your blood pressure's through the proverbial roof. I'll try to. All right then, very good. Business office. I know, I'll have to call you back. The town is starting to find out. Well, I'll leave you two to it then. Miss White, Big B. Who's the doctor, by the way? Steinberger, I think he said his name was? So, to recap... Crane watched me through the magic mirror uncover his room at the open arms, and then he smashed it so we couldn't use it ourselves to go after him. And we know this because Buffkin was drinking in the rafters. That about cover it? And once he puts all the pieces back together, it'll be easy to catch Crane. So, I guess that's the plan, currently. But I, I don't know. There's no other leads. This is it. Just wait for the mirror. Yeah. What the hell is going on? Just... I don't know what the Tweedles get out of this. I don't know if Crane sent them. I don't know if... I mean, this is gonna sound crazy, but do you really think Crane did it? Everything points to him. I get it, but do you really think he killed I'm not those sure. Women? I'm as confused as you are, to be honest. I don't know. It just doesn't make sense. He's... He was a conniver. A, a coward. A liar. And I'll always hate him for that. And I'll hate him for how he held me in his thoughts. But murdering prostitutes? Ow! Everything okay over there? Yes, Miss White. I just cut myself on a piece of the glass. Nothing to worry about. Thanks for tonight. What if what if what if that dude says? That could have gone. The little really fucking little green demon gargoyle looking like a motherfucker. What what, what? Nah, I can't be. I don't know. Terribly. I mean, even worse than it did. I'm glad you were there. Anytime. Can I, um, ask you a question? It's kind of personal. And I, I don't want to offend you, but after tonight... Why? What's on your mind? It's just... When stuff hits the fan, like, like it did tonight, it feels like before we came to the city. It feels kind of like home. And I've heard it said that maybe in some tiny little bottled up way deep inside, you kind of enjoy it when things go wrong. Because it gives you an excuse to just, you know, stop pretending. Fuck no, I don't enjoy it. Are you kidding me? It's horrible what happened tonight. I wish it didn't happen. I shouldn't have said anything. Forget that I did. Uh, guys? We have a problem. What is it? I can't piece. finish the mirror. It's missing a piece. Fuck, I had a feeling, bro. What do you mean, missing a piece? Yes, it's, uh... Buffkin, are you positive it's not here? Maybe it just slid under one of these cabinets. No, I'm sure it's not here. I checked every corner. I saw Crane pick something up after he smashed it. I'm sorry, I didn't realize what it was until now. Well, the mirror can't work unless it's whole. Well, that's not entirely true. Or what, Buffkin? What? We sit around and wait until it mends itself? We have no idea how long that will take. We're just gonna have to do this the hard way. I'm just saying, waiting is an option. No. We can't depend on the mirror. All right. How long will it take for the mirror to reform? Well, it could take days. Or months, or years. He had to have left something that tells us where he's going. He's a neat freak, but he was never that smart. Smart enough to take a piece of the mirror. We can Such still solve this up. ourselves. Smart ass. I know never that Never mind that. Come help me look.
I don't know, man. Buff kind of seemed like he onto some shit. Hi, Mr. Bigby. I can still help you catch Crane, you know. Oh, yeah? Yes. I saw him jump on the telephone before he left. He called up somebody. He said he needed to see his witch, or that he would need to get to the witch for that. Whoever that is. His witch? Yes, it sounded like the one he got his snow glamours from. Hmm. You didn't see anything else, did you? No, not, uh, not especially. Why didn't you try and stop him? What do you want me to do, yank on his hair? I'm only three feet tall. There are limits here. Okay, okay. Look, uh, the whole mirror thing, it's not your fault, all right? You, you mean it? Yeah. I'll just see if I can do anything about this. You do that. I didn't know it was worth the talk. Can I grab the lamp? No. What is it? It's the key to his room at the open arms. You still haven't told me what was in there. I want to know. I need to know. Crane was, uh, paying Lily to live out a fantasy of him and you together. Forgive me if I spare you the details. I keep thinking back. I keep replaying moments in my head. Interactions with him when he'd catch me in the elevator or bump into me outside. <sighs> There's only so much you can repress, you know? What else is there? Come on, let's keep looking. Igabot Crane, are there any updates to the extra funding I requested? As I explained in my last letter, the condition here, conditions here could do with some improvement. I'm seeing some unrest from the residents. I have to admit, I can see why. The farm should not be a punishment, I think. I'm sure you're busy, but I think this should be made a priority. Best, Wayland Smith. Mr. Ichabod Crane, I am writing to ask again that you please send someone to fix the air conditioning in our unit. It's burning up in the apartment in Pinocchio. Some shit. It says the skin is splintering. I don't know what that means, but I assume it's something gross, and I'd really like it if you fix the air, like we asked you three months ago. At the very least, provide us a fan in the meantime. Sincerely, boy. Mr. Crane, you said you paid to have the plaster redone in my building after the last incident in 204. It's falling off the fucking walls. Please fix it. I can't rent out that room as it is, and I've already done wait. I've already been uh, waiting for days. Not to mention, you already promised me you'd send someone to fix the big crack in the glass on the front door. Well, guess what? This works now. Get your shit together, Mr. Toad. Did Crane ever do any work? Only when Cole was around. I have a big question. Was there a spell that was cast for the females to forget, or did they uh, hate each other? I don't know. There's a page here that was torn out. Oh, yeah? Buffkin, do you know what was here? It's a ring, at least. Every magical item not retained in the armory is assigned to someone in Fable Town. It must be this witch he is going to see. Wait, what witch? Buffkin overheard Crane set up a meeting with a witch. Well, yes, it sounded like the one he got his, uh, you glamours from. It must be about this ring. Why not mention this before? No one asked me. Buffkin! And I'm hungover. I'm sorry. He set the meeting at 2 a.m. Tonight. 
What's going on? Is the mirror fixed yet? Bluebeard, this isn't the time. Is the mirror fixed or isn't it? You called I me to- I called just to see if you knew where Crane could be, and that was it, okay? And I'm sorry I said anything more than that. Well, you did, and I know. The cat's out of the bag. So, can we find the dull pervert or not? Bluebeard, get the hell out of here. This is none of your business. None of my business? Crane's the murderer. He escaped. It seems he spoiled your every they attempt quick to place the blame. Him. And now it's none of my business? We don't know if he's the murderer. Oh, please. Of course he is. Look, this just isn't the time. He took a piece of the mirror so we can't use it. The only thing we know is that Crane's going to see a witch at 2 o'clock. Yo, shut up. A.M. or P.M.? A.M. Listen, Bluebeard, you're not a part of this. I don't think you're in any position to turn away help. Why do you even care about this? Why? I'm invested in this enterprise we call Fable Town. <laughs> Literally invested. Since it's mostly my money that keeps the whole thing running. And tonight I hear that Crane has been killing Fables? And there's no system in place to catch him? Look, we know that Crane is going to see a witch, and it's to acquire a magic ring. What's the ring? We don't know what it does or who it's assigned to since Crane tore its page out of the book. This farce was your ridiculous idea for a plan. I mean, who put you in charge in the first place? Fixing the mirror was the most logical You're thing. You're a secretary. He's the sheriff. And none of you were chosen to run this office. Who elected you to make these decisions? Nobody, but that Who doesn't... elected her to spend my money? Well, I've been doing that unofficially for years. I'm heading up the investigation, okay, Bluebeard? That makes this a moot point. And somebody needs to run the business office while he does so. Well then, excuse me for having the Commonwealth in mind. <sighs> All right, yeah. let's just look on the bright side. We know Crane is going to see the witch that's been supplying him black market glamours. Thanks to me. And that he'll be there at two. So that gives us a few short hours to find out who it is and where they live and get them all at once. And a few shorter hours the more you babble about it. 2 a.m. Piece of cake. Since Lily used the glamours, she'd have known who the witch was. And I don't think Holly's burned her things yet. It would probably have the address or a phone number or something. And Bigby is free to go there if he likes. But I think the question you should be asking is just what do the two Tweedles know about this? It doesn't matter what they know. After tonight, they'd never go to their office. They're not smart enough to try and go anywhere else? The Trip Trap is the better option to track the witch down. That has to be our focus. I was gonna click that one, shit. I don't really care what you two do. I'm going to his apartment. What? You can't just go up there. And why the hell not? We already looked for the key, remember? I don't know where it is. Then I'll pick the blasted lock. <sighs> I've wasted enough time waiting for the mirror to find him. I won't waste any more. You just can't go up there alone, all right? I've no interest in nicking his drapes, my dear, if that's what concerns you. What concerns me is you traipsing through possible evidence. Oh, now it's evidence. Bluebeard, just stay out of it, all right? You'll just mess things up further. I can't get any more messed up. We have to find the witch, Bluebeard, since that's where he's going. Or the sniveling weasel chickened out. Never went anywhere. Yo, bob him on and the head and lock his ass up, right bro. Now Easy. Now in his pitiful penthouse, he's turned around. Come crafting on. a fort out Pocket of shit. couch cushions. Look, this is how a smart person would do it. So this is how we're going to do it. Wherever you go, I'll go to the other. I don't like you going anywhere unsupervised. He's up to something. I don't know what it is, but we don't have the time to really worry about it now. Where are you gonna go, Bigby? And we'll leave you alone. I'd love to join you, but there's some business I need to attend to. No, no, I'm better off dealing with things alone. I don't need sympathy and I don't need charity. What do y'all think? 
I don't think the office is going to give us much. I'm kind of leaning bar or apartment, which if I had... Man, fuck. Alright, let's rationalize this for a second. We know that these work for somebody specifically, right? By finding out who they work for, that answers a lot of questions for us. If we go to the apartment, oh, so he said he's gonna go where they're not. And that's the thing I don't like because. Alright, my, my, two, my two choices that I'm really swinging right now is the apartment and the bar. And the reason why is because by going to the bar, we'll get information that'll help us lead to Crane. But if we go to Crane's apartment, that'll also give us the information that'll lead to Crane, right? Should at least, right? However, which one is most likely to have evidence that may be proven against this fucking dude, uh, Bluebeard? I would say Crane, though. My routes. This is the way I'm thinking about it. Holly's bar is going to lead us to finding information that leads us to the witch, uh, the, the, the illegal witch brew, right? Which means that we'll find Crane. End result there is that we find the information we're looking for there. But that, I think that that doesn't give us the answer whether or not Crane's innocent or not. If we go to Crane and we do the thing there, I think that'll give us information based on where... Not only he's at, I think we'll get information there too as well. But I also think that's going to give us more clues as to who's really doing stuff behind the scenes. D's office also has that though too, man. Or should. But we don't know on the same note too. Tweedledee and Tweedledum has been saying for a while that they're on the same side, which I kind of feel like is bullshit. I don't know, man. Now, if we go to D's office, which was never originally a part of any of the, well, no, he's the one who's trying to direct us to D's office, so I feel like that's like a, that's a, then that's the reason why I don't like that choice either now, is because it feels like he's, it, it's a divergent. going with the right motive. I agree. But what does going to Holly's bar do for him, though? Let's look at it from the perspective of Bluebeard. He would want to go to Crane's apartment because there may be information there. And he seemed real adamant about that. He said, I'm going to go to Crane's spot myself. So I'm leaning Crane hella hard right now. He also says that we should be going to D's office, which I feel like is a is a uh, a trap. That's a divergent right there, right? It's the right di the, to put us off of our tracks. Any of the consequences of your actions, Bluebeard will go opposite of you. If I were Bluebeard, why would I want to go to Holly's bar? If you go to Holly, it's still an implication of Crane. If you go to Crane, it's an implication of guilt. So you're, like, you're saying if I pick Holly's bar and Crane's apartment, it's like my way of saying that we think he's suspicious of crime, which that may not necessarily be the case, too. By going over there and investigating him as a suspect, which he is currently still, he's not, he's not been proven guilty or not guilty, right? We can find evidence to show that he, if we go to Crane's apartment, I feel like we can still show that he may not be a bad guy. And we can find that maybe he's being blackmailed or that there's somebody else who's doing something into, in, in this matter. Or we do find out he's a bad guy. And then, you know, we, we catch our stuff there. I don't see the value of, of Bluebeard going to Holly's bar. The evidence that they would cover up is stuff that we've already unveiled, which is Lily went to a, a, a black market uh, glamoring, right? Crane is also involved in some capacity, whether that's him or someone trying to be him. So by going to Holly's bar as Bluebeard, it doesn't make any sense for me. He already thinks that leadership doesn't care for the people. It could be a user, uh, or a user move. If we choose D's office, where would he go, though? He's going to go to Crane's apartment. That's where he said he wants to go. What if that's a faint, though, bro? Shit. I 
I don't know what to pick here, man. I don't, I'm still not leaning D's office. I don't see the value of it. Because, like, just be, we're going into the assumption that whoever has stuff going on Crane doesn't want it to get revealed, which is what the boss that Crane work, uh, D, D, uh, Tweedledee and Tweedledum work for. And there's something suspicious about that, but it doesn't necessarily mean that. Mama take an apartment. Shit, dude. I'm still leaning apartment too, to be honest with you. But I, I know what sword's going at with that, dude. The thing is, though. Crane's apartment, then, uh, if you're thinking he has an implication, maybe it's to lead us to that implication? Like, some shit in there? If he goes to Holly ba Holly's bar, I think he kills Holly. That's the only thing I can think of that happens as a result there. And there's no way he's going to D's office. I don't think he's going to go there at all. to join you, but there's some business I need to attend to. I'd love to join you, but there's some business I need to attend to. No, I'm better off dealing with things alone. I don't need sympathy and I don't need charity. So you leave Crane alone, and we we'll leave you alone. You and all your acquaintances. So you leave Crane alone? Show ass up, I don't want to hear that. Leave you alone. I'd love to join you, but there's some business I need to attend to. Crane's place is right here. I should check that out first. Perfect. And I'll go to those two imbeciles. He went to D? Crane's penthouse number is 1903. Let me know what you find. I hope you know what you're doing. Oh, I hope I chose the right thing, dude. Fuck. Shout out to Mama Tech. I chose her choice. <laughs> so if it's wrong, it's our fault, okay? Why is the door open? Anyone in there? Crane? Damn, they put a timer on us, bro. That's never a good sign. Damn it. Must have missed him. There's gotta be something about his witch here. Because I love you. Everybody can stay upright. In the meantime, leave the light on, pal. See ya. Crooked man. This is all I could get. I'm afraid Snow will start to notice. I'll have the rest for you next week. Ichabod Crane. What's going on? Who's here? the crooked man? I don't want to do that. That was not what I meant. Might be useful. Can we leave the money? I don't want to. I don't want to keep it. What the fuck? The 
This hasn't been used in years. Jeremy? I forgot. He used to teach in the old days. Same brand we found in the open arms. Math, science, history. If I had to guess, this shit didn't work. Seen him that excited. Guess things have changed. just unbelievable running into you here. I mean, of all the places. This weather, right? A you little damp, I guess. But, you know, some people like that sort of thing. Explain yourself. Now. Okay, okay, okay. I know what it looks like, but before you go jump into conclusions, Crane pays me to water his plants when he's gone. It's a stipend, but you know I need the work. I wouldn't do it for free, right? You know me. So, anyways, uh, now that I'm done... I don't see any plants. Hey! Okay! You got me. Just take it easy. I don't like being lied to. Okay, okay. I heard Crane was leaving town. I figured he owed us little people a parting gift. Or just me a parting gift. You heard? I have my sources, okay? You see how he lives. He doesn't need any of this shit. A little Robin Hooding never hurt anyone, right? And you heard this from? What does it matter? I hear things. What else do you want me to say? I got bills to pay. Not like Crane's gonna use any of this stuff. Are you working for Crane? And tell the truth. No, I'm not working for anybody. Just take it easy. You know, this tortured, lonely pig-eater bit's gonna get old eventually. Don't you get tired of it? I mean, what are you even doing here? Are you just wandering around Crane's apartment? I'm investigating. Sure. Well, looks like you've got it covered. Anyway, it was really nice catching up with you. I mean that. Bigby, I believe you're, uh blocking the doorway there, if I could just, uh, squeeze through. You know, on second thought, it's actually funny I ran into you like this. I think I can help you out. I may not know why you're here, but... Go on. I'm listening. Look, I have some dirt on Crane you might be interested in. Word on the street says he's got a witch in the city. I can tell you who she is, if you're interested. Information comes at a price, though. All right. Tell me. Let's make ourselves a deal. I tell you about Crane's witch, and you forget you saw me here. One hand washes the other sort of thing. Wipe the whole incident under the rug. Fine. You got a deal. Perfect. Now tell me where I can find this witch. Strong grip. Her name is Auntie Greenleaf. 
Crane's been trying to keep it under wraps for years. Let's take Greenleaf, okay? I'm not sure what he's using her for, but if he's not going to the 13th floor, it's gotta be something illegal. I hope you're not lying to me, Jack. Scout's on her, Sheriff. Uh, th the thing is, I don't know where you'd find her, exactly. You gotta be fucking kidding me. But even a name is a good start, right? It is, I mean, it is, it is. That's more than what you came in with. Right. I'll keep my eyes open for you. If I find anything else you might be interested in, I'll be sure to let you know. I think this arrangement can be beneficial to both of us down the line. <sighs> it was just lovely running into you, baby. Hang yeah. on a second. Yeah. Oh, come on. Dear. Do you always talk to yourself like that? The witch uses the white deer on everything. It's her symbol or trademark, I guess. Figured I could sell these at the Lucky Pawn. The Lucky Pawn? It's one of the crooked man's places. I work there sometimes. When I need some stability. It's a pawn shop. Get it? Yeah, yeah. You find any more of these? Uh, no. Give them to me. What? You know what. Hand them over. That it? Pick me? Are you still here? We're done here. Fine by me. Who are you talking to? What's he doing here? Evening, Miss White. Good evening. What's going on? He's here to help. Jack had some information about Crane's witch. Oh, what did you find out? Her name is Greenleaf. Auntie Greenleaf. But he doesn't know where we can find her. Great. Crane's meeting her at 2 a.m. It's good to have a couple snitches snow, saying that if you're a cop. I found a note with some money sure? attached. Crane has been embezzling from Fable Town. Of course, because why half-ass being a complete sleazeball? Do you think this is tied to the murders? I mean, I guess it doesn't matter yet. I think it's connected. Maybe the girls found out about it? I don't know. Mm, maybe? Crane's meeting Greenleaf at 2 a.m. And we have no idea where she is. We're going to cut it close as it is. Wouldn't she be listed in the business office? I've had Buffkin searching for any unauthorized witches, but so far we haven't found anything. I'll give him the name, but we don't have time to wait around. You should try Holly's. She still has all of Lily's things. If she hasn't burned it already. There's still Tweedledee's place. We know they're involved. And we know that's where Bluebeard went. Where do you want to go? We don't have much time. So, they want us to go to uh, the Trip Trap for what? To look at Lily's stuff, belongings, basically, from Holly? Go to Holly's, get Lily's stuff, and see if it leads to anywhere specific. I don't see that information being there, man. What do y'all think? Try might give you the address. I feel like the trip trap's gonna give me what I want, bro. Another thing is too is that like why why would Bluebeard want to go to these uh D and Dumb's office? I'll go to the trip okay, trap. Let's go. See about Lily's things. Fuck, I, I think go. that's our best I option. I don't know what to do here. Sounds I good. Don't know what to do here. I'll give Buffkin the name and hope he finds something in the records. Let me know what he comes up with. I'll be in touch. I hope you'll do the same. We'll catch him, Snow. Hang on, Jack. I want to talk to you. Who 
<laughs> He's asleep, you fucking idiot. He didn't even give me a chance to explain. What's left? Read the sign! Guys, open up. It's the sheriff. Hey, look, Woody, it's the sheriff. Well, come on in, buddy. This boy's like high as shit. Grant, what? He's a traveler. A weary traveler in search of some hospitality, right? Yeah, sure. Thanks. I want a drink. Anybody else want a drink? Friend, Swinehart said you shouldn't mix you it. You think I give a fuck what that fucking guy says? Or what you say? Grant, really, you, you shouldn't drink right now. Have you seen Lily's things? What, wasn't burned at the funeral? Um, is that stuff supposed to be here, or...? Nope, haven't seen it. Holly's asleep in back, but you won't be able to wake her. Really? Well, the doc gave him both barmesidal ambrosia. For the pain. Look, the deal is, if you resist going to sleep, like I am right now. It gives you a very, very, very nice high. And he said that he shouldn't mix it with alcohol. Yes, he did. He certainly did. But let me tell you something. I haven't felt this good in a long time, fat boy. There's no way to wake her up. Oh, no. Anyways, the doctor gave me strict orders to let the fine woman sleep. She's had a very traumatic experience. That funeral back there? That was a shitty fucking send-off for a pretty okay lady. Yeah. You weren't fucking there. Talking to Bigby now, okay? Can't say you being there helped things much. Gren, don't start nothing. Who's starting anything? You think I shot up the place? It wasn't my fault. They got away though, didn't they? Whatever. It's alright. I'm too out of it to get into it. I wanna clear the air. We're all in this dung heap of a fucking shit town together. We're all gonna have a toast. All of us. Fellas, I'm here for one thing. To look through Lily's belongings and get out of here. Now, yeah, I... yeah, I know, I know. And I want to help you, okay? And I will. But first, indulge me. It'll take two seconds. As a show of good faith. And after, we'll all hunt and peck for Lily's shit or whatever. Grand Bigby didn't come here to get loaded with you. To the dead. All right, now help me. Gren, the doc said you needed to rest. How many times you fucking gonna warn me about it, huh? You're not my fucking mother, so just get off my back! I said I was sorry, all right? I can't do anything about it, it's done! <laughs> What more do you want? What else can I fucking say here? Cut this shit out now. I don't care what it's about. Oh, I forgot. You haven't heard the news. This walking lard cake was paying Holly's sister to let him fuck her behind all of our backs. And Holly had to find out going through all of her sister's shit. What fun that must have been. Trick after trick of this fat ass and Lily. I didn't plan for that, all right? And our thing, whatever it was, it wasn't a big deal. 
It wasn't. I never fucked her when she was snowing. I didn't know nothing about that. No, but you knew Holly would flip out. And you knew for a damn good fucking reason. You know what? Fuck this. I don't need this shit. Oh yeah, that's it. Now you're teary-eyed. You were always such a low life. I don't know why I never realized it till now. What do you think about this fucking loser, Sheriff? He can think whatever he wants. I don't give a shit. No, that's okay, because I'll tell you what he thinks. I think whatever happened was between them, and Lily is dead. So let's put this whole thing to rest, Gray. I don't know where Lily's shit is. <sighs> Check Holly's room, I don't know. But I wouldn't wake her if I were you. Sleepwalkers and trolls. I think that's the role. Maybe, uh, ogres, too. What a day. Am I right, Sheriff? What a fucking day. Gren won't remember this. That's nasty seafood. I guess. Did you care about her at all? She was a nice girl. Ran around too much, but a nice girl. Of course I cared. I still care. I hope so. I hope you do. Lily's funeral. It was just so fucked tonight. But I still wish you could have been there. I just don't know what Bigby's doing. If he, if he cares about it. If he even gives a shit. I don't know. I don't know why he showed up. He's just, he's trying to do what's right. You think so? Yeah. Well, you know him better than anybody, so. Uh, I guess I'll take your word for it. If you were getting your glamour on this day, then one of these has to be the witch. Auntie Greenleaf. Gotcha. Hello, this is Snow White calling. I'm looking for Bigby. Is anyone there? Pick me if you're there. Pick up, okay? Snow? Oh, thank 
on. Tell me you found something. I got it, Snow. Her address was here with Lily's things. It's on, uh, White Plains Avenue, 1284. It's an apartment complex. Great. Let's get going. Crane's meeting her in a few minutes. You're welcome. <sighs> Thanks. Listen, we have to hurry. I'll meet you down there. All right, I'll see you there. Big B! I just got here. Yeah, me too. It's number 23. I haven't seen it yet. We're late. Yeah, I know. This is it. Fog. All right. How do you want to do this? Hear anything? If anyone's in there, they're being awfully quiet. Sorry about that. Is something wrong? Who are you? Rachel, who are you? Just so... Well, I'm the sheriff, and this is my partner. Boss. Pleased to meet you. How do you do? Is there, um, is there anything you need? I'm not allowed to let people in. Is Auntie Greenleaf at home? Does she live here? You mean my mom? She ever, you know, make the nightstand levitate, turn frogs into cats, that kind of thing? Is she a witch, dear? No, I would never call my mommy that. She treats me all right. Is there... Uh, something you want? Snow, can you just do something here? I, I never have any idea what to say to these people. You mean children? <sighs> do you mind if my friend here takes a look around? I promise we'll be quick so you can hurry back to bed. I've been here all night. Nobody's been here. Okay, boss. I'm gonna trust your friend not to break anything. Don't get me in trouble. Look for anything unusual. Yeah, like Crane. He could still be here. Let me guess. Big band or classical? Honky tonk. No accounting for taste. The honky tonk. But on but on. Uh huh. Your mama hunter? Oh no, she never. That was found in the woods around Dick's Mountain, I think. It's pretty rare to see a burner like this. <sighs> Dowdy. That's how we like it. No one's been over all night, so... He's just... What is this? Mommy uses that to carve her trinkets. It's from the old world. Trinkets? Um, like glamours? Not here. There's no one here but me. Where do you buy your clothes? At a store. Oh. Nothing that looks like Crane was here, either. Nothing? See? How much longer do you think it'll be? I saw a spider over there yesterday. The Butcher. The butcher. What's that? A package. Having to do with someone called the Butcher. 
It's empty. God damn it. I shouldn't say that. Nothing. I keep getting whiffs of that aftershave of his. I do too. Can I go to bed now, please? Is that a glamour tube? Mommy really doesn't let anyone play with that. Trust me, I've tried. Oh, no, 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 no. Please, 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 just put that back exactly where you found it. No one is allowed to play with it's that. It's all right, honey. Bigby's not going to break no, it. I don't understand. She will freak out if she discovers I've let people in here and let them touch her stuff, okay? She checks all the time to see if things move. I don't want to get in trouble. I'm not going to break it. I just want to open it. No! Put it down! Please, don't! This isn't what you think! you got to believe me. The guy isn't here, I promise! It's going to be okay, Rachel. Please, I'm begging you. I don't want to... I don't want to get in trouble. <laughs> Anti-Queen Leaf. It hurts when you do it that fast. What? You picked the wrong night to lie to me. No more lying, no more ring around the rosy, no more bullshit non sequiturs. You're done. It's over. You're gonna tell me what I wanna know right now. All right, start explaining. And from the beginning. I was born in the woods to a jackal and a... Where's Crane? Speak quickly. I ain't a fortune teller, wolf. I have no heavenly idea where he went to. You have to know something. Unless you want a recipe for owl stew. Just why in the name of everything holy are you protecting this weaselly scumbag? I mean, what on earth could he have done to deserve this kind of loyalty? Crane could be hollow bones tomorrow, and you wouldn't see me cry a drop. But that doesn't mean I can tell you anything. You have friends, don't you? Please, Greenleaf. Crane is a murderer and he's escaping. You might want to check your facts on that. It doesn't matter. I can't help you. I have no interest in being turned into a skink and crushed under boot heels. There's powers at work here beyond your pathetic authority. Whatever it is, Greenleaf, whatever it is that's keeping you from saying something, you have to forget it. We can protect you, okay? Whatever it is you're afraid of, we can make sure that it won't come to pass. You have no idea what's going on, do you? Okay, you know what I think? I think we've been more than patient with you. This witch has been selling illegal glamours that continue to undermine everything we've built. She's harboring a fugitive that took advantage of it, and now she's resisting every attempt to make things right. I frankly don't give a crap if she's afraid for her life. We can at least make sure she never hurts us again. We're destroying the tree. No! How dare you come in here and threaten to take from me the one thing that... That tree is ancient. It's part of the family, and it's the only thing paying for this shithole apartment. And the fables who can't afford the glamours from you come to me for help. Without them, where do you think they could Don't go? Don't give me that. You're making money off of other people's misery. Two fables are dead because of this crap. It's too dangerous leaving this stuff with her. You think I like being the old woman in these stories? The men are heroes, the ladies are whores, and the old hags like me get to watch everyone they love die. We have very different ways of handling our fate. Very different means to handle it, too. Isn't there another way? She's a witch. Can't she just work for us? That way she'd be official. You want to reward her for criminal behavior? We can't trust this woman on the 13th floor. It doesn't matter, because I'd never do it. I'm not a house cat, and I don't play well with others. Oh, trust it's me. Tough, man. No What's one that, would Shigaki? confuse you for a cuddly animal. Bigby, this is an order. Burn the tree. No! Look, look, I'll tell you, I'll tell you. Crane was here. He was here, and he left. He went to the pudding and pie to try to use my ring on the girls over there to get information. What does the ring do? He thinks it's the ring of dispel. You know, that it will 
Pierce the protection around the girl's speech. He says pulling the truth out of them will prove his innocence. It won't, though. Damn thing lost its power decades ago. I'm sorry, but we still can't let you keep the tree. It wouldn't be right after what's happened. Big B. Please, Sheriff. Damn, man. I don't think burning the tree is going to be the move. I don't want to cause a confrontation from, uh, from Snow either, though. Although Snow's being very irrational right now. She's, she's speaking in emotion. I'm going to go higher, man. I'm going to hire her ass. Today's your lucky day, Greenleaf. I'm hiring you as the business office's newest witch in residence. But Bigby! The witches over there will keep her out of trouble, and, and we have a glamour shortage as it is. It makes the most sense now. And you get to keep your fucking tree. Just don't expect me to bow down to your little woman here. Don't think for a second that this is over. Uh, so what? Are moving trucks going to show up here or something? Something like that. We'll call you. It's not important right now. Snow's going to be mad at me for that choice, but I don't think... I don't know. I don't think so, at least. Shit. Hold on. Oh, do you miss a spot? Mr. Clean, come to smash up the rest of my place. Oh, I see. Come to audition, you bitch. Where's Crane? Ichabod Crane? What would that nerd have with a place like this? Tell me what you know now! He pushes us hey, out of the way. You can't just go in there. We have a problem. Tell me who did it. Just tell me who did it. I know you know. Mr. Crane, please. She can't help. I know you know what the plan is. I won't be held accountable for this. I can't. I can't. I'm sorry. I. Oh my God. Big B. Wait, don't. I, I, I didn't do anything. I promise you, I didn't do anything. Girls, the, the, the girls, they'll back me up. I j just have to get the stupid ring working, that's all. They can't talk because of that spell. But once this ring gets through, I'll know what's going on and this whole thing will be over. That's all. Please. I'm innocent. Completely, completely innocent. The ring won't work. Greenleaf sold you out. What? No. This will work. I assure you, it, it must. I, I went to... You, damn you! Come on, please. Tell me who killed her. My lips are sealed. <laughs> How many years? What? How many years has this been going on? Two. Too many. But I didn't kill those women, Bigby. Please, I had nothing, nothing to do with that. I just, I, it just, oh God. What happened to you? Were you always like this? Not always. It started as most things do, very, very small, nothing more than a thought. But I didn't kill that woman. Bigby? I don't think he did it. What? Look at him. Do you really think this man murdered these women? He's not... He wouldn't be brave enough not to put his stamp on the world like that. He's a disgusting coward, not a murderer. We've been chasing this guy. Just... Why now? Because look at him. 
You said you found evidence of him defrauding Fable Town, of using our money for his own ambitions. That's one thing. But don't you have doubts he's a murderer? We've both known him for so long. I can't believe I'm hearing this. Did you see how he was acting when you showed up? Yes, I know how this- This fuck up knows more than he's saying. I don't, I don't. Yes, okay, he probably does. But there's a difference between being involved and being the guy who did it. True. Okay, but if Crane didn't kill Faith and Lily, I'm sorry, but who the hell did? <laughs> you know, when I saw you come back here... This whole thing is bigger than Crane. He wouldn't have the stones to send the Tweedles after me. Somebody else is involved. Well, shit. I didn't intend for any of this to get so... You've been stealing money from Fabletown for years, haven't you? Yeah. We're not gonna kill you, so quit your shivering. Ichabod Crane, you are under arrest for the misappropriation of Fabletown funds. You have the right to counsel, the right to depose witnesses. But as of right now, you're coming with us. Get the fuck up. Now. I guess we know who's in charge, Sheriff. Sometimes it's fuzzy. You think you have what it takes to run that office? You think I didn't make sacrifices? I made sacrifices. And you won't be in that chair one minute before you have to give up something you care about just so the wheels don't fall off the goddamn wagon. I did the best I could with what I had. And the town took everything it could out of me. Better save your energy, huh? You're going away for a long time. Someone tells me that Crane's gonna get away. If something's gonna happen, it's gonna cause Crane or me to flip out and, like, you know, Wolfman to flip out is gonna be rough. Stupid girls and the preposterous schemes. What are you saying? Oh boy. Jump on the car, jump on the car, jump on the car. Dean Tweedle's fucking dumb, dude. I'm guessing that's fucking blue be uh, Bluebeard. No, it's somebody Hi. else. What you got there? Look, it's recently come under our attention that you're. How shall I put this? Attempting to claim what is the personal property of the Crooked Man. He's about yay high, 120 odd pounds. Pissed his sheets until he was 14. Sound familiar? I haven't told him anything. Not now, not now. Shh. The grown-ups are talking. Who are you? No, 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 no. That's not how this works. How this works is you are going to walk Crane over here. Like a good doggy. It wasn't my fault. <clears throat> Shut up. You're interfering with official Fabletown business. Step aside. Tweedledee, what's the, uh, you know, that thing the Mundies call me? What? what? My nickname. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, Bloody, Bloody Ma Mary. That's it. Thank you. And do you know why they call me that? Because some of them, they think it's funny to have their little sleepovers and go into their little bathrooms and say my name five times in the mirror. They find it less funny when I actually show up and feed their lungs to the family dog. And I do that for a hobby. 
play golf to relax. He's in custody, so move your car. I told you he'd never just give him up. Fuck it. Keep your hands on the keyboard. Bigby? <sighs> Let's go! Turn up! Turn up! Let's go. We're a tank, boys. Motherfucker. Eat both of them. Looking like dumplings. Please be the right choice, please be the right choice, please be the right choice. That's not a normal bullet. Oh God, it was a good show, but you know, it just didn't know when to end. Keep impressing it, dude. I believe. Right, Wolfie? I mean, hey, look, I know it sounds ridiculous, but really, guys, <laughs> can you argue with these results? Because I know I can't. Oh, shit! Wait! Stop! Just. Take him, okay? Take Crane. Just stop, please. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Just get out of here. Who that motherfucker? He had contact on his hands, huh? Crooked man says it's okay with him. Hello, Ichabod. Got a stomach ache? Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, and just between us girls, Crane ain't no killer. I mean, look at his face. Couldn't stick a pig if his life depended.
It's not the result I really wanted, to be honest with you, but Kinda fuck. like your boyfriend here. Too pussy to ruin a Tweedlestay. Well, this is gonna be a beautiful relationship we have with you guys. Really, I mean it. I'm jazzed about it. Now she needs oh, book, bro. In with the new. Along with the queen. I'm sure we'll be in touch. See you around. Bro, my bone's sticking out of my damn hand. That's gotta fucking suck. The Enchanted Land of New... Oh, next time on The, Wa uh, the Wolf Among Us. Let's say The Walking Dead Day again, dude. He's lucky to be alive. And he won't be next time if he keeps going like this. This is getting worse by the minute. We don't have time to sit around and wait for their next move. I'll get things under control. Woody? I'm not gonna tell you again. Back off, dog. This doesn't concern you. What'd you want to talk about? I just wanted to, um, about last night. After what they did to you, are you even gonna be able to stop them? Don't hold out on me, Jack. You've always got some angle. Not this time. I know when a mark's not worth the trouble. Do you? Don't make me come down there to deal with you. I don't want it. You don't want it. Again, you don't have much choice at this point, do you? This fucking show is so goddamn good, dude. I'm so addicted, bro. It's so fucking addicted, bro. Did you interrupt Snow's eulogy? You and 80.7% of player, 80.7% of players decided not to interrupt her. There was no need to. What place did you investigate first? 39%. So it was actually between these two no matter what. I think everybody was kind of on the same page that like it was pointless going to D's apart, uh, office, so that makes sense. Uh, what play... Okay, we read that. Uh, did you make a deal with Jack? You and 70.7% of players decided to make a deal. You know, inside man. Did you burn Greenleaf's tree? You and 79.5% of the players did not burn the, the tree. Wow. So a lot of people didn't, no? Did you kill Tweedledee, uh, Tweedledum? You and 55.8% of players show Tweedledee, uh, Tweedledum mercy. 